Today, I'm going to show you how with just one command and one line change in your code, you can run DynamoDB locally and test if your application works with DynamoDB the way you intended to without having to set it up in AWS account and spend any money whatsoever. Here I have a sample project, which I downloaded from the AWS documentation GitHub repo. So the first thing you're gonna care about is this line right here. It's called endpoint overwrite, and we will replace it with whatever URL the Docker gave us. Currently it's set to localhost 8000, and obviously you may want to be able to overwrite this. But in your application, this is the only thing you should care about. It's when you're instantiating your DynamoDB client, you just overwrite your endpoint with the one you're running locally in Docker, and that's it. And it should work the same way whether you're running it in Java, Python, Go, whatever. Wherever DynamoDB client and point override is supported, you should be able to do that. Well, if you just ran it like that, then as you can see, it's gonna tell us unable to execute connection refused. And that's because our Docker container is not running. So for that, you will need First of all, Docker installed, and secondly, in the root of your project, you want to create this Docker Compose file. And it's just 10 lines of code that you need to put in here, and then you should be able to run, uh, let's see, we will have to switch to our root project, and then you run Docker Compose up. It's gonna start our container, and I honestly don't remember if it should say anything else but it does say initializing DynamoDB local with the following configuration, port 8000. If you want to override it, you're going to do it right here and then obviously override it again right here. But now, if we run our application again, let's clear it. We see that we no longer get the error we get the logs that we are expecting. Now, if you run this again, it's gonna do the same thing. If you are running it with the example from AWS documentation, if you run it again, it's gonna fail saying the table already exists. So I created a gist for you that you could use and download it from here that I'm going to link in the video description. The only change really is that it's gonna skip creating the table if it already exists and it's just not gonna fail. And if you do end up running into some issues, the way it works, basically under the hood, it's just a SQLite database that I would assume Dynamo put some wrapper on top of. So what happens is when you run your Docker Compose up is that this shared local instance DB file is created. So if you ever run into any issues where you're like, I'm not sure that it is working correctly, what you need to do is just delete this file and then do docker compose down and then docker compose up again and then it should just start working. And this is it. This is how you can test your application with the local instance of DynamoDB and confirm that your application works as expected. And if you want to learn more about different AWS tips and tricks, then subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch every video I have on it. See you in the next one.